हेलो फ्रेंड्स तो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द नेक्स्ट और द सेकंड चैप्टर दैट इज फिंगर प्रिंटिंग वेब सर्वर्स तो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज फिंगर प्रिंटिंग ऑफ वेब सर्वर्स विल बी आइडेंटिफाइंग इन दिस टॉपिक विल बी आइडेंटिफाइंग व्हाट इज द वर्जन ऑफ वेब सर्वर दैट इज is it apache or is it uh, nginx and its version sorry not just a version but uh, which which is the actual product like nginx uh, there are multiple types of web servers multiple companies have their own like windows is having iss apache and then oracle i think oracle is apache and nginx and there are multiple web servers So we will be identifying which web server is there and what is the version. So how do we fingerprint it now? This is the simplest method, banner grabbing and all. But uh, it's very old method or kind of a hectic method like using command line and all. But whichever tool we will be using, this is the only method. <coughs> so we will be reading banners for example if i send curl request curl request you say google.com okay Wait, what i do is https okay. here i think we will be able to get okay now just want head so this is what exactly the backend whichever application we will use for fingerprinting web servers or banner grabbing this is the only thing it does so here you will find see server gws so basically server here it's apache which this is the only way but uh, we will not be using this method <laughs> we will be simply using uh, add on called as webpilizer this is the add on you can install it from google add on or chrome sorry chrome store so see it says it gives lot of information for us uh here most what, what happens is <coughs> most of the companies will remove this banner so our application will not be able to identify server it is but there are multiple methods uh, for example if the application is running and and asp pages then it's most of the time it's an iis server so this is this is it's it's it is needed but uh, it's not the most important thing so but this is how we banner grab any application this is the easiest method by pilizer and there are some malform request and all which will so why malform request is basically to generate an error so if any application is generating an error it will by default display the if if the server is set to display errors out to clients uh, then we will be able to uh, see server's information what is the server's information and now this is an automated way most of the time we'll be using this way so we'll be using nmap and nikto uh, okay remediation is so we don't want anything out of it but mostly we will be using nmap so i'll quickly show you a demo of it i think i have nmap installed
it will take some time <laughs> there are other methods this vapilizer is a is used method because it it doesn't involve your ip address to find out the information or it's not an active engagement whereas nmap is actual port scanning and all it it can be considered as an attack on some websites or some web servers if you are not authorized to do that please don't do it so here i'll i'll simply add this website and it is this we'll go with the version okay. service version and we'll add some extra flag to get little bit of extra information and i'll also add a little bit of verbose mode so here we don't need this here we'll be able to see we'll get a lot of information but we only need okay okay sorry uh i i am not getting what exactly the error is but let's go with i don't know saying it has started don't want this information need another information uh so, to explain you basically there are two methods to fingerprint a web server first is the banner grabbing method where you will the head request he headers of the request and then you identify and second is to somehow generate the errors on the application so that it displays out that it is running xyz web app uh, web server i will show you how to really go with this one I will show you one example. So I don't know which website it is and all, but we will try to somehow generate an error on this website. kind of information is very useful we can also also write some directories which are not there if we see page source okay we go into we into i think memory no network yeah network is correct so it will do test and here this is what i was talking about these are the headers the microsoft iis this is the typical banner grabbing method here also we will be able to okay here you can see windows iis at one time all but uh, any index of i'll try to use a old method just to show you that how to gen how web applications can generate an error so i don't know which web 
website should be point but uh, you can insert lot of things by for example here if you do something like this nothing so we can try to we can try to add something which is not relevant and then server will generate an error Okay, so this is like they have implemented proper error pages, but still you can, you know, fuzzing and all by fuzzing you can get a lot of information about web servers. We'll try to. This is ASP. We'll try to go with a PHP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'll try to open this. See, Apache. Well, here it's only written. It's an Apache. We don't need to find anything extra of it. Uh, other than index of and all. We'll try to visit this website and how, how to generate an error that is that is our motto right now. Sometimes generating an error could be a biggest task. Right. But still we can try to find some pages and I do try to send some malform requests and all. This can be done through Burp Suit also. We try to search something, nothing found. Okay, what I'll do is here. I'll try to search for nothing. So I think you are getting let's check out and map what and map has found okay and map has found there is a cloud there so sometime when there is a firewall you won't be able to get the information so sending malformed information is also of no use because cloud player will it will not allow scanning and also you can see here there is a cloud of air cloud of air no cloud of air will not allow us to do anything we try to go and finding errors on which website is really hard but we can try now we can It's a dot com. We can actually go and try to do one more scan on this website. And we can I hope we can find something. We can also try to do something on this website, this is a GB hackers website. Try to
juga target service version nah ini luar bos atau flex to give we have port we only scanning port 443 what else we give that's it that much is fine it's scanning dial technology dot com for port double four three right now so if you don't know how to use and map and all just stay with me slowly slowly we'll be learning lot of things So this is also a good website to learn. What we will try to do is we will try to let us search only for errors. Let us search only for errors. So that I get. I don't know if it's been tagged and all has occurred, but it doesn't seem to be relevant to us. Posted it. We don't know. We are not able to get any errors on any website, but. Right, processing string and all. Okay. We are not able to get what we want. But uh, in upcoming videos, just stay with me. In upcoming videos, we will be doing this on multiple. Hey, this is my C. dot binary dot com. If you go here, this engine X, so you know which engine X is running on this. Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why this is not reading the information, but uh, you know now how web application fingerprinting is done. So 